Hello, welcome back to another guided meditation. My name is Sage and I work for the Oregon City Public Library. <clears throat> so last week we talked a little bit about the freeze state in those moments of stress. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the fight stage. So you might have heard fight, flight, freeze, sometimes fawn is also thrown in there. And specifically with the fight response, this is... <clears throat> after we're, we're kind of past that freeze point, freezing is usually the first step. And then once we get that past that point, we might find ourselves being incredibly irritable or feeling like we have no time in the world to do what we need to do, feeling overwhelmed, um, a lot of feelings. <laughs> but also we can notice how our bodies respond to this fight. So just like with freeze, sometimes we'll really clench up in our bodies and hold on to a lot of tension. But you might notice something that's different and kind of moving more into the flight stage is your body wanting to move, maybe like tapping your feet or wiggling your fingers or just needing to pace back and forth. Um, this can also very easily turn itself around on to you and being more self-deprecating and taking that fight out against yourself instead of others but also it can show up in a number of ways so what we're going to do today is a quick body scan and just notice how your body is responding to stress whether whether you're in a fight or flight or freeze or fawn stage or if you're feeling okay and this is always just a really good practice to check in and build that deeper connection between the mind and the body. Okay, so we're going to just get comfortable. You can sit up tall. We'll roll the shoulders up, back and down. Do that a couple times. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Go ahead and sink into your comfort here. If you'd like to lie down, you can lie down. If you'd like to walk and listen to this, you can as well. Or just sit. Maybe providing your body a little bit of that self-soothing where you can place a hand on your chest and maybe one on your belly or both hands on your belly. Notice your heartbeat. Taking breaths in through the nose. And out. Just seeing how long you can draw in that breath. Bring your awareness to your toes. And just notice your toes. Notice how they feel, if they're cold or warm. Maybe you can focus on one individual toe and feel your heartbeat there. Bring your awareness to your feet, your ankles, your legs, maybe they're feeling restless or heavy. Maybe you notice sensation running through your legs. And noticing as we go through the body, if you're holding on to any tension and if it feels safe or comfortable to do so, see if you can ease that tension, softening the body.
Bringing your awareness to your hips and pelvis. the belly there's a deep connection between anxiety and our gut and we can often feel the response of stress in our bellies pretty significantly bring your awareness to the low back mid torso the chest the upper back shoulders really allowing everything to soften the arms the fingers Again, see if you can really focus on one finger at a time, maybe even feeling your heart beating. Bring your awareness to your neck and throat. Your jaw, cheeks, eyes, nose, ears, eyebrows, and forehead. Easing that tension in the face. Letting the tongue separate from the roof of the mouth. Guide your awareness to the top of the head, the crown. Allow yourself to just feel a lightness here, if only for a brief moment. Reminding yourself that where you are now, you are safe. Consider who you feel safe with. Maybe even thinking of activities and things that you can do that make you feel safer and just bring a little bit more comfort, a little more ease into your life. And allow yourself these acts of kindness to your body and to your mind, not as a luxury or as a reward, but as a basic need. One more breath. Side out. Thank you for joining me today. And I will see you in the next one.